Hello and welcome to Leanne's cooking show. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes, baba ganoush. You're going to need two large eggplants, get some foil paper, wrap them up, Okay. I'm going to bake this about one hour on 350. So, this part of the recipe is very easy. Let's put them in. Okay. Today, we're also going to make focaccia bread. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Okay, to start your bread, you're going to need a cup of water, lukewarm water. What I do is I add some cold water and then I add boiled water. And just fill it with your finger. If it needs more hot water, just add it. Okay. That's good. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. And you're going to add one tablespoon of active dry yeast. It's about one package. Welcome back. We're going to measure our flour right now, get a scale, turn it on, now we're going to put our container and put it in zero, okay, take your flour, then you need about a pound of flour doesn't sound like a lot but it's going to be a lot maybe add a little bit more Alright, that's good. That's about half a container of flour, but just wait. So, that's one pound. This is what it looks like. Now, your yeast, just set it aside, give it a 5 10 minutes, let it activate. I would add salt to this right now, about a teaspoon, kosher salt, mix it with your hands. Take your flour, place it in your food processor, make sure you have the bread mixer, it's a plastic mixer, don't use the one that cuts things up, that's not going to do anything, or you could do this by hands, okay, that's looking good. Close it, like that, and turn it on. Now slowly add your liquids. Good. 
think this needs a little more liquid. So just add a little more liquid. Now we're going to look at it. Okay, this is too much liquid. Come here, look at this. You see how it's all like sticky and it's not manageable, it's too sticky? At this point, you just add some more flour. And you're going to do this by, uh, at this point you're going to do this by tablespoon. So, one heaping tablespoon at a time. What you want is kind of like a pizza dough, but a little more like bread. still sticky so another tablespoon okay this is looking really good right now okay while you do this, you're going to cut up half a small onion and you're going to flour your board. Flour your board. Put your dough. Now we're going to work the onion into this dough. So, add a little bit, fold, and press. A little bit more. Fold, and press. And keep doing this. It's looking really good right now. Now making bread is a messy process, so don't worry about it. This is looking really good right now. Ah. Shape into a bowl. Now here, look at this. See how it it has some stretch? But it's not as much as a pizza dough. It's more like closer to bread somewhere in between. This is what a focaccia bread is supposed to look like. Okay. Now get the same bowl you use for your flour. You're going to fill this with olive oil. About a teaspoon. And you're going to roll the bowl in there. Okay, really good. Okay, so this I would take a towel, wet it, squeeze it out, and place it over your your bowl like that. Now this I'm gonna put here. On your oven, you need a warm and you need to keep it moist. This is going to rise for about half an hour. We're going to come back to this.